Hey everyone. What if Deku had a harem of amazing characters? Let's dive into this fun alternate universe and see how it unfolds. The morning would start normally at the Midoriya house where Izuku would go to UA without knowing that today everything would change in his life. The green-haired boy would arrive at the classroom greeting his friends and the others in his class, drawing glances from all the girls since Izuku had changed a lot since his fight against Overhaul, he would no longer be that shy and nervous boy. He would keep his ideals high but he would no longer get nervous when talking to girls, neither would Bakugo be afraid and he would be serious as well as having an incredible will that unknowingly stole the hearts of many girls, including heroines who did not know if it was love or admiration what they had towards the freckled boy. Classes would be normal until a purple portal would open in front of everyone putting them in battle pose but they would be able to hear a conversation on the other side. Question mark, but dad, don't push me. Question mark, ha 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 go on. A boy of about 12 years old would come out of the portal, he would be wearing red sneakers, black pants and a green jacket with the symbol 1 on the back and on the front that would say Deku. Question mark, but mom, I don't want to go. Question mark, come on, you have to go help your brother. A girl of about 8 years old would come out of the door wearing a red skirt, black shoes and a sweatshirt with a Matryoshka logo, those dolls that you open and it has the same doll but smaller, and in front of it would say Krichi. The portal would close where the two children would stand in front of everyone and talk. Izumo, my name is Izumo Midoriya and she is my sister Mozumi Midoriya. Mozumi, hello. All, what? Ashawa, this is not funny explain. Izumo, we come from the future and we want our parents to be together since eventually more children will come who will want dad to be with their mother. Ashawa, if that's true, who are your parents? Izumo, as you may have guessed from my relationship and our last names, we are children of Izuku Midoriya and Momo Midoriya, although they are now known as Yaoyorozu. Everyone looked closely and the boy was right, he had hair like Izuku and black eyes like Momo, his hair was black with green streaks and he had no freckles. As for the little girl, she was just like Momo, her hair was tied like her, she had green eyes, green hair with black streaks and freckles on her cheeks. Mozumi, Mommy. The little girl went to hug Momo but she only dodged the little girl causing her to fall. When she recovered she only managed to start crying while her brother lifted her in his arms comforting her. Momo, I I. Izumo, calm down, I understand, it's not normal for two kids to come from a doorway and say they're your children. Izuku, I see you're serious. Izumo, that's how you raised me, because you told me how you saved Eerie Neck and you realized that in the world of heroes you can't be nervous or shy. Izuku, well then how is it that more children will come? Izumo, phew. Mozumi, Ni-chan I want to go home with mommy, said the little girl still with tears. Izuku just asked Izumo to give her the little thing she did and Izuku just turned her to look him in the eyes. Izuku, so you're Mozumi, right? Mozumi, yes pa, Midoriya-san. Izuku, relax, if you feel comfortable, tell me like that, okay? Mozumi would only hug Izuku and he would reciprocate, noticing that Mozumi was somewhat downcast over what she had done. Izuku, okay son, continue. At that moment another portal would open, and a little girl with short hair and jacks in her ears would come out. She was wearing black boots, jeans with a broken knee, and a leather cheek. Question mark, why are you pushing me like that, dad? Question mark, good luck, daughter. And sorry. Izumo, that's what I mean. Question mark, oh, I see that others have arrived before me. Izuku, well I guess I suspect who your mother is but could you introduce yourself? Kyosuru, of course dad, my name is Kyosuru Midoriya and I am the daughter of Izuku Midoriya and Kyoka Midoriya. Kyoka, what? Kyosuru, well, you listen to me, you fool. Kyoka, as you told me, shorty. Kyosuru, fool. Kyoka, come here, vermin. Kyosuru, A-H-H-H help dad. The little girl would go to her father hiding with the one who would stop Kyoka. Izuku, calm down Jiru wait a moment. Jiru, don't get involved Midoriya, that's between mother and daughter. Izuku, wait there. You scare her. Everyone would be impressed by the green-haired boy's reaction and the purple-haired girl would just stay quiet and go to her place. Izuku, well before we continue or another portal appears I want you to tell me your ages and quirks. Izumo, I'm 12 and my quirk is Grandpa Hizashi's fused with Grandma Inko's. I have pyrokinesis. The little boy would light a green flame in his hand, astonishing everyone. Kyosuru, 
I'm 11 years old and my quirk is a combination of mom's earphone jack and grandma Inko's telekinesis. The green-haired girl with purple eyes would raise her hands causing her body to be surrounded by a purple aura and attract the pissery racer. Izuku, well, little one, you're missing. Mozumi, Edo. I'm 8 years old and my quirk is mommy's. Creation. The little girl would create a red pencil in her hand, astonishing everyone with her action. Izuku, wow, they are impressive. Izumo, as far as I can see, only the three of us have appeared so far. Tempting fate, two portals would open, with two girls and one boy coming out of the first portal, and two boys coming out of the other portal. From the portals you would hear good luck children and everyone would be amazed by such a scene. The children who came out of the portal began to shout at each other, so Izuku left the little girl who was hugging her brother and went to where the other children were fighting. Izuku, sighs silence. The five children would stand up straight and scared by their father's scream. Izuku, okay, sorry for yelling at you, now present yourself since I know why you are here. Izumi, I am Izumi Midoriya, daughter of Izuku and Ochacho Midoriya, I am 12 years old and they are my brothers Hikaru and Ochami. Hikaru, I am Hikaru and I am 10 years old. Ochami, I am Ochami and I am 6 years old. Izumi, a little girl who looked just like her mother except her hair was green. But with freckles. Hikaru, he was just like his father but his hair was brown and he had no freckles. Ochami, she is a mix between both, because she had hair like her mother but with green streaks, freckles on both cheeks and having one eye the color of her mother and the other like her father. Izuku, so your mother is Ochako. Well introduce yourselves. Minori, I am Minori Midoriya, son of Izuku and Mina Midoriya, I am 11 years old. Maizuro, I am Maizuro Midoriya, son of Izuku and Mina Midoriya, and I am Minori's twin, therefore I am also 11 years old. The brothers were like Izuku but they would have their mother's little horns and Maizuro would have green hair with pink streaks and Minori would have the opposite pink with green streaks and would have freckles which Maizuro wouldn't. Maizuro would have his mother's eyes and Minori would have her father's eyes. Everyone couldn't believe what was happening. Uraka had fainted and Mina just ran towards the twins hugging them tightly. Minori, enough Okasan, you embarrass us. Maizuro, Okasan barely lets us. Mina, oh. They are beautiful. Izuku, well, it's good that she takes it well. Unconsciously this resonated in the heads of two girls as one did not want to hug her daughter and the other wanted to hit her. Izuku, okay, while your mother wakes up and your mother releases you, tell me your quirks. Izumi, I have mom's quirk but more enhanced, meaning I can hold out longer without feeling like vomiting. Hikaru, I have your quirk. Izuku, my quirk? Hikaru, of course the increase in strength and speed but according to Iri Neken when doing the studies, because your body got used to your quirk when I inherited it, I don't get hurt like you but it is difficult for me to manage it. Currently I only manage 3% and my maximum is 6%. Izuku, wow. Amazing. Ochami, I. I can't control my quirk. Uraka, who had already woken up, noticed that the little girl was about to cry, so she went to her to pick her up and cuddle her against her chest. Uraka, come on, my dear, tell us what's going on with your quirk. Ochami, yes, mommy. Well, it turns out that I have Grandpa Hisashi's quirk, but when I used it, it hurt my mouth. Izuku, I understand, calm down, you'll be able to use it without hurting yourself, you're still small. The three of you are incredible. Okay, now you too. Mizumo, well, just like that kid, I have your power, only I manage 5% and my limit is 8%. Minori, and I have the same power as Okasan, only my acid is stronger, and thanks to the fact that when we were conceived you already controlled your power, I have more strength and speed than usual. Mina, my little ones are amazing. Minori, haha, we haven't received this affection since before Nazca Minami. Mina, what? Mizumo, oh, it's that when our little sister was born you focused more on her and we, well, let's say we're 10 years apart from her so she didn't pay much attention to us. Mina would only be sad about what her children told her but they would hug her, surprising her. Minori, we know you don't do it in a bad way, we understand you mom, you give everything for us three just like dad and we love you. Mina would just hug her little ones while crying a little. While this was seen by everyone two girls would approach her children and this would be noticed by Izuku. Momo, H hello. Izumo, hello Yaoyorozu-san. Mozumi, H hello ma Yaoyorozu-san. 
Momo would only hug her children crying while they did not understand what happened. Momo, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to treat you like that, I just couldn't understand what was happening, this is new and I. Izumo, calm down mom, we understand what you're saying. Mozumi, don't cry, mommy. I don't like to see you cry. Momo would only hug her children more, who would reciprocate the hug. On the other hand, Kyoka approached her daughter who was watching Momo's scene with sadness. Kyoka, what's wrong? My future self won't hug you? Kyosuru, oh, it's not that. It's just that dad is the symbol of peace and you are the top four heroine and you have your concerts with dad and it's not like we spend a lot of time together. Without thinking, Kyoka would take her daughter and hug her, who would reciprocate by hugging her while her mother dried her tears. Izuku, well before they show up anymore I want everyone to go to their mom. Then the girls would stand where? Momo would be standing with her son by her side and a little girl in her arms while she played with her little nose and the little girl laughed. Kyoka would be with her little girl, both with a phone while they shared their musical tastes. Uraka would have two children at her side and a little girl in her arms while she made a little fire and her mother congratulated her. Mina was bursting with happiness as her children showed her photos of her with their babies and of her future one-year-old daughter. Izuku, wow. Bakugo, Deku why the hell are you so calm? Izuku, calm down Kachan, I'm like this because I get really angry, you'll be worse. At that moment the door of the classroom would open and Kendo would enter with a girl in her arms and a boy at her side, Ira with a little boy in her arms, Yui with two girls at her side, Nehair with a little boy in her arms and a girl at her side and Mei with a girl in her arms. All, Midoriya, we need to talk. Izuku, God help me. Izuku would be stunned to see the other girls with the children. And he would come to his senses and do the same thing as with the others. Izuku, okay girls and boys before we start talking I want each of you to go and stand next to your mother. They would all stand next to their children and Izuku would begin to ask them to speak in order. Izuku, well, Kendo-san and sons, would you like to introduce yourselves? A red-haired boy resembling Izuku but with his mother's features would speak. Itsuko, I am Itsuko Midoriya and I am 13 years old. The one in my mother's arms is my sister Inko Midoriya and she is 5 years old. The boy commented, showing his sister, who had green hair, that she looked just like her grandmother, only much smaller. Izuku, I understand, son, why is she here? She's very small. Istuko, I brought her because in my future you are the symbol of peace and mom is the top 3 heroine. Grandma died a few years after your graduation and since mom's grandparents were not in the country I brought her to take care of her, don't be angry. Izuku, calm down, tell me your quirks. Itsuko, my quirk is big body, what it does is that I can enlarge any part of my body, it is a variation of the breast quirk. Izuku, amazing, and your little one? Inko, daughter, Edo. I recently awakened my quirk but when I use it my head hurts, when I told you, you told me it was grandma Inko's. Izuku, you're great, my little girl. All the girls, hey. Izuku, all my girls are great. Okay Ibera san son introduce yourself. Ibuzi, my name is Ibuzi Midoriya, I am 7 years old and my quirk is a variation of mama, I can manipulate everything that has to do with the earth. The little boy spoke, who looked just like his mother, except that he had the same crazy hair as his father. Izuku, so you handle the money? Ibuzi, yes, but also my land. Izuku, great, Kodai-san, Ninyas pre-sentence. Ikumi, I am Yukumi Midoriya and I am 11 years old. My quirk is that of a mother but enhanced, meaning I can enlarge or decrease the size of things and also my own. The little girl said just like her mother except her eyes were like Izuku. Yuki, I am Yuki Midoriya and I am 9 years old. My quirk is hydrokinesis, which is Grandma Inko's mother's quirk. Said the other girl with the same appearance as Izuku but with her mother's eyes. Izuku, great, and if my grandmother had hysrokinesis. Okay. Nay higher and children tell us who they are? Izuru, I am Izuru Midoriya and I am 13 years old, my quirk is that of a mother. Said the little girl who was the spitting image of Nay higher but with freckles. Rutaku, I am Rutaku Midoriya and I am 8 years old, my quirk is pyrokinesis. The little two-tone boy spoke, he had blue and green hair and his father's eyes but no freckles. Izuku, wow, amazing, May and son, introduce yourselves, okay? Mizu, okay. I'm Mizu Midoriya. I'm 10 years old and my quirk is my mom's. But I don't care about that. Said a mini Izuku with May eyes. Izuku, 
So? And why? Mizu, because I will be a great baby inventor like mom. May, that's my boy. Izuku, okay ha 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 then let's do a skills count that I will write down in my notebook. All, why? Izuku, it's just that I'm not used to having 16 children yet, and I don't know their ages well enough. Before they started talking, a child would come out of another door while rubbing his head. Question mark, Okasan why are you pushing me? Izuku, and you are? Izaru, oh how about dad, I'm Izaru Midoriya, son of yours and Toru Midoriya or what's his last name here, Hagakure. The black-haired boy with Izuku's features but black eyes spoke. Toru, what? Izaru, oh, hello Okasan how? Two other portals would open, revealing a pink-haired girl with eyes like May and freckles on her cheeks. And in the other, a girl with green hair and frog-like features. Mizumi, oh daddy, he's stupid, he'll go find me. The little girl would see her brother and throw herself at him and her mother who would hug her. May, but what do we have here? Is it my beautiful little girl? Mizumi, yes, mommy. The other girl on the other hand went to Tsuyu and pulled her skirt a little. Tsuayimi, hi mom, I'm Tsuyumi Karo. Izuku, okay, once again. Tsuyu-chan can come here and you too, princess, the same can happen to you, Torusa and you too, little one. The four would comply with the request and Izuku would start once again. Izuku, hey little one, tell me your name, your age and quirk. Mizumi, I'm Mizumi Midoriya. And I'll be an inventor like mom. Since I have her quirk, oh and I'm six years old. May, Kia. My beautiful girl. Izuku, okay, Tsuayimi, introduce yourself, honey. Tsuayimi, yes dad, I'm Tsuayimi Midoriya and I'm nine years old. My mom is Tsuyu Midoriya and right now she's Asui. My quirk is my mom's but with an extra ability which is being able to camouflage myself. Izuku, great honey, well Izaru the same as your sisters. Izaru slash all, they're not my brothers. Izuku, sighs silence. Everyone would be silent because of Izuku's little scream and he would start talking again. Izuku, look kids, I don't like yelling at you but now I'm going to have to talk to you. Izaru, Continuing what I was saying, I am Izaru Midoriya and I am 10 years old, my quirk is my mother's plus my father's stamina and physical abilities. Toru, but how, you're not invisible. Izaru, it's just that I have my tricks, of course you and dad taught me. Toru, how? Izaru, well, your quirk isn't that simple. Dad taught us that there was a switch that we could turn off to become visible, and then turn it on to become invisible. I've already trained your quirk, and in the future you can even make your clothes invisible, which I can do. Toru, make myself visible? Izaru, yes, try it, close your eyes, breathe deeply and think of a light switch. See? Toru would do as his son told him and imagine a light switch. Izaru, well done, now turn it off. Toru would turn off that switch and slowly white skin and black hair with the face of a beautiful girl would begin to become visible. Toru would turn off that switch and slowly white skin and black hair would begin to become visible with the face of a beautiful girl. Izuku, great advice son. Izaru, thanks dad. Ashawa, got Izuku, well everyone, class just ended, Izuku the principal is aware of this so he told them to stay in the dorms okay? They are your children so you will know what to do. Izuku, thanks Ashawa. Everyone would go to the bedrooms where Izuku with his daughters and their receptive mothers would start talking. Izuku, okay, the girls will go with their mothers okay? And the boys will come to sleep with me okay? All, yes dad. Clarification here bedrooms A and B are together. Girls dormitories. The girls were with their daughters while they were having them take a shower and then going to their rooms respectively. Where each one would eat something to talk to her daughter and clear up her doubts. Small bedrooms. Izuku would be fighting with his younger children who did not want to bathe until he raised his voice a little and they bathed. Izuku's room would be more spacious since it would not have all of All Might's things because he had already understood that that was not healthy. Then Izuku would make the little one sleep in his bed and the others on some mattresses he could get, sleeping on a beanbag he took from the common room. When everyone was asleep, Izuku slept on that beanbag without realizing that his youngest son went to sleep with him. Izuku, eh? What happened? Ibuzi, daddy. Can I sleep? With you? Izuku, of course son. In three other places. First place. Rumi, 
W. What am I your mother and your father is Midoriya? Question mark, yeah. Question mark, yes, mommy. Second place. Mandalay slash pixie, what? You are mine and Midoriya's son slash daughter. Question mark slash, yes mom. Third place. Ryuko, Midoriya and I had children? Question mark, yeah. Question mark, that's why we are here. The night would pass quickly, Izuku would get up, carefully leaving Ibuzi on the poof where he prepares breakfast for his children, carefully taking him to the room making everyone get up when they smell the aroma of food. Kids, food. Izuku, no. First wash your face and teeth, otherwise there's no breakfast. All, bad dad. Okay. One by one the children would go to wash their faces and brush their teeth. Once everyone was ready, Izuku distributed the food and ate in communion with his children. Izumo, gosh dad, just like at home you cook the best. Ibuzi, yes, dad, according to mom, you invited her to dinner on your first date and she fell even more in love with you. Each child started talking to their dad but Izuku asked everyone a question. Izuku, well knowing me I'm sure I told you about one for all, right? All the children nodded. And Izuku would ask again. Izuku, did I give it to anyone here? Minori and Kikaru raised their hands. Izuku, I suspected it, okay, any complications? Minori, and me, my muscles are getting numb. Hikaru, and my bones break if I use more percentage than I can handle. Itsuko, and it's obvious you sucker. Hikaru, at least I have the power dad, Minotas. Itsuko, come here you idiot. Izuku, enough. All the children remained silent because despite not being from that time, their father is still Izuku. Izuku, I will not tolerate you making fun of your brothers for their quirk, you know very well that I never judge anyone by their quirk and I surely gave you that lesson so I will give you another one, do not make fun of anyone for their quirk, every quirk is good, understood? All, yes dad. Izuku, okay, let's go to your sisters. The children got ready as they headed to the training camp where each one would begin to arrive with their daughters. Izuku, ahem, how my girls woke up. The excited girls ran towards their father, tackling him to the ground while hugging him. When they got up, they all surrounded Izuku and the two youngest in their arms and the youngest on their shoulders. Girls mind. Kendo, I could fall in love, he's very cute. Ibera, what is this feeling I get when I see him? Yui, I won't deny it, it's cute and. Why do I think this? Jiru, a daughter with Izuku. What? Since when do I call her that? Momo. Even though I like Todoroki, I can't stop feeling this way about Izuku. Ochako, three children with Deku Kun Kya, I made it. Toru, I've never seen Izuku like this, but now he's prettier. Mina, I know it's strange, but I feel warm seeing Izuku like that. Mei, why do I like it so much? I know I liked it a little, but now I love it. Nay, higher, I don't understand, but I see Izuku in a very different way now. Out of the girls' minds. Nemuri slash Rumi. Midoriya. Izuku, I have a problem. Todoroki, Midoriya we need to talk. Izuku, I have two problems. Pixie Bob slash Ryuko, Midoriya explain this. Izuku, I have a lot of problems. The five heroines approached him to start bombing them, but not before Izuku prevented an ice attack from Todoroki. Izuku quickly stood in front of his children and with a punch destroyed the ice pillar that was heading towards him. Izuku, what do you think you're doing? idiot. Todoroki, I want an explanation. Izuku, I'll beat the shit out of you. The green-haired boy, in a flash of speed, would hit Shoto in the stomach and neck, leaving him unconscious. Izuku, that's what you get for wanting to attack me and almost hurting my children. Everyone was amazed by the green-haired man's action, his children were amazed at their father's power. They knew that their father would be capable of anything for them and at that moment it was confirmed. On the part of the women, all of them felt a great blow in their hearts, Izuku's action was so comforting. Izuku, okay, my new children, I want you to stand next to your mother and tell me your names, ages, and quirks. Namuri. Ryu, my name is Ryu Midoriya, I am the son of the hero Deku and the heroine Midnight, or rather Namuri Midoriya, and I am 13 years old. The blue-haired boy spoke like his mother but had green eyes like his father and also had his freckles. Ryu, my quirk is bone break. Izuku, why that name son? Ryu, because it's similar to yours and Uncle Kirishima's. Since I can harden my bones but at the same time I become faster and stronger. 
It's a combination of mom's dad and yours. But I gave it that name because of the similarity to Uncle Kirishima's quirk or rather Red Riot. Izuku, clever, well the following ones. Rumi. Rizu, I am Rizu Midoriya, son of the top 3 heroine Mirko and the top 1 hero Deku. I am 14 years old and my quirk is my dad's. This is the white-haired, red-eyed Izuku speaking. Rukari, and I am Rukari Midoriya daughter of the here's top Mirko and Deku. My quirk is my mommy's which in the future I will use to kick ass like her. And I am 7 years old. The green-haired girl spoke, she was a miniature Rumi with eyes like her parents but without freckles. Rumi, those are my brats. Izuku, wow impressive, let's continue. Ryuko. Romori, my name is Romori Midoriya and I am 13 years old, my parents are Izuku and Ryuko or the top 1 heroes Deku and top 7 Ryuko. And my quirk is an improved one for my mother. The blonde with fangs but with freckles and green eyes spoke. Izuki, and I'm Izuki Midoriya, I'm 7 years old and my quirk is telekinesis like my grandma Inko. The green-haired girl spoke, but with her mother's eyes, although without her mother's teeth and without her father's freckles. Izuku, well then there are three of you left, Mandalay Pixie Bob and Fuyumi, oh Fu Fuyumi T Todoroki. Izuku, seriously with you two? Don't get me wrong, you're cute. All, what? Izuku, all your mothers are beautiful. Can we continue? Fuyumi. Fuyiro, I am Fuyiro Midoriya, I am 14 years old and my quirk is that of Grandma Ray, I am the eldest son. I speak the white-haired Izuku but with the left eye green and the right one gray. Izuyo, and I am Izuyo Midoriya and I am 10 years old, I am the third to be born and my quirk is that of my grandfather Hizashi. I speak miniature Fuyumi but with green locks instead of red and with a green right eye and a green left eye. Izuku, and how many are there? Fuyiro, oh, well counting us there are 5 of us, me 14, Rei 12, Izuyo 10, Toyoko 8 and Inko 4. Fuyumi, 5? Fuyiro, that's right, mom. Izuku, okay now the last two, tell me. Mandalay. Shimuro, I am Shimuro Midoriya and I am 13 years old. My quirk is being telepathic. I can read minds and a small additional benefit from my uncle Shinso's training, which is that I can control them in addition to possessing your great physical condition. The junior Izuku spoke but with his mother's hair and eyes but with more freckles than his father. Izuku, interesting, good in you? Pixie. Eriko, I am Eriko Midoriya and I am 10 years old he he because my quirk is a rare fusion. Izuku, why? Eriko, why do I have pyrokinesis, I mean the fusion of Grandpa Hizashi and Grandma Inko, right? Izuku, yeah and? Eriko, well, I have that quirk and also mom's. Izuku, what? So you have two quirks? Eriko, Ajum, aren't I great as a mommy? The younger blonde with green eyes and freckles said comically. Izuku, well let me tell you something. My sons and daughters are awesome. Come and cuddle daddy. The youngest ones were the first to fall with their father while the others tackled him upon arriving, which was a great joy for everyone. The day passed quickly and everyone was already gathered in the training gym by Nezu's permission where they would sit and eat like a big picnic since Izuku and the mothers of his little ones cooked for them all to eat together. Izuku, well now that we're all together I want to talk to you all about something. Everyone would pay attention to Izuku where he would stand and have a serious expression. Izuku, first I don't want fights, I don't want quarrels, you are brothers, although you are not children of the same mother but of the same father, you have a collection and you are brothers, I don't want mockery of your quirks or insults, is that okay? Nobody will have preference you are all my little ones and I love you all equally. Okay? Boys slash girls, yes dad. Izuku, now the next thing. I know that if I choose one the others won't exist, so I thought about it all night and I think I already know the solution but I want to know what the others think. So the idea is that no matter how ugly it is to have each of them and have a harem. All, what? Izuku, if she doesn't want it, there's no problem, but I ask her that if she doesn't want that, that she burn me and that my, forgive me, our children be born. They would all be hesitating but each one would notice the downcast look on their little ones and would make a decision. All, okay. Izuku, that makes me happy. All, but you'll have to take each of us on a date. Izuku, seems fair to me, now that that's settled I think that like me you are curious about how we fell in love and had our children, right? They would all blush and turn to look away, which made Izuku and his children laugh. 
Izuku, all right haha then start kids the night is long. Who starts? Izuku, well then who starts? Izumo, I ate. Reiko slash Kami, stop. Izuku, no way. Question mark slash, hello daddy exclamation mark slash dad. Izuku, all right here we go. The green haired boy would explain to the girls everything that had happened so far and they would agree to be in the harem. Izuku, okay kids, tell me your quirks and ages. Karim, I am Karim Midoriya, son of Izuku and Kami Midoriya. My quirk is illusions and I am 12 years old. Izuku, I understand your quirk is your mother's? Kamiri, yes, but enhanced, I can create illusions that become real but for now they last 10 minutes. Said the two colored boy between light brown and green who feared his mother's eyes but with his father's color in addition to his characteristic freckles. Izuku, awesome, and your little one? Rizuru, I am Rizuru Midoriya and I am 8 years old, my parents are Izuku and Reiko. My quirk is similar to my mother's, but enhanced. The little girl said she was identical to her mother except she had green eyes and freckles. Izuku, great little one, well then since we're all here, how about we continue where we were? Izumo, well. What you and mom told us was that. Momo x Izuku. Class 1A had already passed the year so it was 2A, couples could be seen where only a few were single, Mineta the undisputed bachelor, while with Izuku it was a rare case. The green-haired boy was about to declare his love to Uraka but he could see how she and her friend Lita were holding hands. This only made him a little uncomfortable, he knew that it was not her intention to betray him so he just accepted their relationship and continued with his life, on the other hand the beautiful girl from the UA who won the title of the most beautiful being inherited from Nehai or Hadu. Yes, I'm talking about Momo Yaoyorozu. The brunette had a letter on her chest and a few small tears were coming out of her eyes as she was watching her secret love Shoto Todoroki kissing Tsuyu after reciprocating the green-haired girl's feelings. The brunette just threw the letter and walked slowly through the hallways with her head down, not noticing someone who was looking pensive. The girl collided with the boy, but he managed to grab her by the waist so she wouldn't fall. Izuku, oh Momo-san are you okay? Momo, I Izuku-kun? Izuku, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you, are you sure I didn't hurt you? Momo, no no, calm down. The green-haired boy could only smile at the brunette, making her blush. She would certainly have to admit that Izuku had changed too much. There was no longer any sign of nervousness in his voice, his gaze constantly showing determination. He had grown up, currently being one of the tallest, surpassing her by about 4 or 5 centimeters. They would walk to the bedrooms but on that way it would start to rain and Momo would only have her shirt on, something that Izuku noticed since Momo was covering her bust because it was transparent, so he just took off his jacket and put it on Momo, surprising the brunette. Momo, but Izuku-kun and you? Izuku, calm down, I don't want you to get sick and I also want to prevent perverts from looking at you. Again that confidence and determination, again that little punch in the chest. Through the rain she could see Izuku's detailed body was not exaggerated in muscles but was well worked out, he would drive any girl crazy. She would look into those eyes again and find peace, she didn't even know why. Both would arrive at the bedrooms where they could appreciate all the new couples, after all, on February 14th only love would be noticed. A sad look would be noticed by Izuku from Momo as she saw Shoto and Tsuyu giving each other affection, which was not bad but the brunette wanted to feel. A question that would trigger a great love story would get her out of her mind. Izuku, Momo-san, how about we get changed and watch a movie in my room or yours? I'll cook, do you want? And once again that smile, that determination, that confidence, the brunette only managed to say yes while she went to shower and change. After everyone went to sleep Izuku went to the brunette's room with a tray with two plates of noodles with sauce and two glasses with a jug of juice. Izuku, Momo-san, I'm here. The door would be opened by a brunette with her hair tied down wearing a red pajama with shorts and a tank top. In the green-haired man's eyes she looked beautiful. The brunette was stunned when she saw Izuku, who was wearing a blue short-sleeved shirt that was a little tight to his body and black shorts that showed off his good body. Momo, I Izuku kunen you shouldn't have bothered. Izuku, it's not a problem, I wanted to do it. You don't always have the opportunity to be with the most beautiful girl in the UA. Momo, you you really believe that? Izuku, sure, then. Shall we eat? The green-haired boy and the black-haired girl would eat while laughing a little and watching the movie they had chosen. When they finished eating and the food, Izuku would be about to leave but would be taken by the arm by Momo. Momo, I Izuku-kun, 
Can you sleep here today? I don't like thunder. Izuku, it's okay, no problem. Before Izuku lay down on the floor, Momo pulled him onto the bed, leaving him face to face with her. Momo, you won't sleep on the floor, you'll sleep with me, okay? Izuku, it's okay ha ha ha. Momo, what are you laughing at? Izuku, incredibly up close you are much more beautiful although I admit from all angles you are gorgeous. The brunette, red-haired because of the comment and tired of the heat he has when she is with him, only did what her heart told her to do. She threw her mouth at the green-haired boy, who, surprised, closed his eyes and returned the girl's kiss. When they separated, they looked at each other and kissed again, repeating this until they fell asleep. A month passed and both had declared their love to stay together, being a surprise because no one expected that couple, the years passed and after they got married, upon leaving the academy, Inko died, being horrible news but a few days later they would receive news that would not give way to sadness, Momo was pregnant, Izumo had her first child, and years later she would have Mozumi, her little princess. Izumo, and that was it. Momo, that was very nice. Izuku, so. Kids, answer me something. Is there a future where Grandma Inko is alive? Everyone would lower their heads since in all the futures Inko dies shortly after Izuku's graduation. Itsuko, Dad, Grandma never told you, she has cancer because she always smoked in secret out of sadness for not being able to give you a quirk, that changed when you woke up but it was too late and it was already getting worse, it wasn't until your third year at UA that she found out that she would only have one more year to live, something she told you when she started to get sick. Izuku, I understand. Let's continue with another story, shall we? Kyosuru, I'll continue. It all started like this. Kyoka x Izuku. The sports festival had ended but this one had something special. Kyoka Jiru was hopelessly interested in Izuku Midoriya, where the green-haired boy had hidden his musical ability and his incredible voice. Originally Kaminari was going to play the guitar but when he got hurt at the last minute, Izuku took his place and put on a show. The blue-haired girl just ran towards him and hugged him being hugged back by him until they were both face to face. Jiru, why didn't you say you had this talent, Izuku? Izuku, I don't like to brag Kyoka you know that ha ha. Jiru, always so modest. Eerie, look, my dad is with his girlfriend. So it's my mom. Mirio, wait, we don't know that yet. Eerie, oh. The rocker would see the pout that the girl would make and could not allow that angel to have that face so she acted in a special way. Kyoka took Izuku by the neck and kissed him hoping he would pull away but all she felt was his hands on her waist and the kiss as expected. Eerie, see my friend, it's my mommy and daddy. They would separate and see that Eerie was happy then Kyoka would take the girl in her arms and begin to play with her a little while Izuku began to feel endless emotions for Kyoka. And so time passed where they kissed daily, secretly, after classes, on the roof, in the bedrooms and etc. and without realizing it neither could be without the other so they made it official. Izuku declared his love to me one night where he sang me a song and Kyoka accepted. Three years later they would get married and after nine months their second princess Kyosuru would be born. Kyosuru, and that's all here I am. Kyoka, wow, then let's see. Izuku, you know how to play instruments and sing. Izuku, well yes. All, sing something. Izuku, ha 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 o koko I'll sing. Izuku would quickly go get his guitar and position himself while everyone looked at him. Izuku, okay, here I go. One, two, three. Ignore the video, just listen to the music. Izuku, well? What month did it seem like? All mothers, it was beautiful. All children, epic dad. All daughters, spectacular. Izuku, thanks, well let's continue with the others, shall we? Izumi, well then it's my turn. It all started when.